Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we have a SIBO X4 automatic made in Germany. And it's in this terrific yellow color, which is one of the more rare variant. Not the rarest, but pretty rare. And uh, it was brought in because it had no power. Well, folks always assemble your machines right. The handle was loose, but it needs a service. So we're gonna go over the service operating procedure with this machine. You will need one of these depending on the age. And if you're not an authorized SIBO dealer, I recommend that you bring it to an authorized SIBO dealer. I will put the link in the description below, along with a link to some of the common supplies as well. So we're gonna press this button and that's going to free up our first section and separate the motor brush housing from the dust and tool compartment. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the electrical cord off. Again, what it came in for. Do that just like so. We can squeeze here and pull the hose and the tools off. We don't need those for this service procedure. And then you'll see there's this lever that you twist. The handle will come off. So we're left with the body and some tools. We're gonna to pull this off, change the bag. So there's that. Uh, filters kind of in between need to be changed as well. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this off, wash this stuff. Just like so. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. This filter absolutely needs to be changed. It's grody. Your brush loader will eject out the side. Now these brush rollers, they stop locking up and the bristles wear out. This one is completely worn. So that will need to be changed. And then the bottom of this is just nastiness. I don't know whose house this is or why it's like this, but it is completely nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking it apart. So this guy will come off. Warning, when you take off uh, some of this stuff, there are things that go everywhere. You wanna take off the big Phillips screws right here. Turn it over. Big Phillips screws go right there. And let's, uh, let's pull the cover off first, actually. Pull the cover off first. That can all get washed. Next, I'm gonna pull this out. Take the springs, put them in your magnet tray, otherwise you're gonna hate yourself. Um, yeah, it's a lot of carbon dust and buildup here. I want to make sure this cover is solid, which this one is. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we are just going to pull the brush roller, uh, drive assembly. We're going to just make that loose. I'll show you why I do that in just a second. Now we can roll off the bumper. You see the bottom is held in by these big clips. Uh, my favorite way to get these off is to take headphone warning, just, just to pop those off like that. Doing that. And now this has all come loose, like so. And now the ingest bars, which are these guys, just wiggle them off. Was all you can get cleaned out. Now oh, there's some gum or something stuck to this. I don't know what this is. That is gross. We'll have to scrape that off. Nice. So that's how far I usually take this apart. And you want to check this, make sure this bearing's good. 50-50 uh, with that one. So we're gonna go ahead and wash majority of this stuff and once everything's nice and clean we will put this together and i will show you how to calibrate uh, the bag check indicator notice that potentiometer right there i just want to clean off this guy all right let's go ahead and put this SIBO back together i've got some genuine parts here and i'll put a link below to those if you need them but I do recommend you just go to your local authorized SIBO dealer. I'll also have a link below to that. So first thing I'm gonna do is we're just gonna soap 
uh, one of the belts. This just helps quiet things down. And we'll soap this one as well. It's important that you always use SIBO Genuine Supplies. We're gonna just put this back like so. And in the bag, we're going to insert this uh, like so. And then I usually take the cap and I like to just tuck them in right there. It keeps it from rattling. So now we're gonna get into just the quick diagnostics and some of the stuff before I put the covers on, make sure everything is working right. Um, so you're gonna take this guy and he's gonna go like so, just over that. You wanna put him on there. You can also do it on the base of the unit, but I find this works just fine. Go ahead and insert the handle. And let's go ahead and run. So now with this attached, we saw the red light turned on. Everything is adjusted all right. It usually is, but I always like to check it. So now we can separate the body and the motor, and now we can assemble everything that we know no adjustments need to be made. If you didn't need to make an adjustment, it's this potentiometer right there, and you only turn it in hours. Uh, if you can picture an old school clock, hours at a time. You don't, you don't, you don't want to do more than a quarter turn or so at the time. There's no reason for that. So we're going to go ahead and turn her over. And now that I have everything adjusted. Um... Hey folks, I'm sorry, but my SD card got corrupted where I was putting it back together. So I'm going to play the speed in reverse in hopes it's a little helpful, but there's just four screws you put on and you rock that cover on. It's really, really simple. And then the brush roller just goes in on the side. Again, super simple. So thanks for watching. Again, link below to your local SIBO dealer and the supplies. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.